Hi, this is Adam Lane from Pocketnow.com, and you're watching a Windows Phone Mango Preview. So here we are, and we're going to start with the Start menu. And here it is. It looks pretty much the same as Windows Phone 7. Uh, the Mango version has some new live tiles, though. Uh, we'll go through all those. Right here you see Group. You see the People uh, tile has changed. Should be some different animations there. There we go. Uh, so you got more contact photos come in. Sometimes they come in big, sometimes they come in little little thumbnails there. There's a big one coming in. And we have our Pictures Hub is now animated, which is awesome. The live tile there. Xbox Live has changed a little bit. And you can pin more stuff to the start menu, which is great. So this is where you're going to put all your important stuff for, you know, the day or every day. You know, whatever you want, you can put it here. And over here, the programs menu. This has changed a lot. Uh, previously, it was just one big long list, but now we have uh, alphabetical jump list menu. And you notice as you scroll the letter stays there. So if you have a really, really long list, you can easily get back to the alphabetical list. So that's pretty awesome. Now, if I... let's see if I can remove some of these. These uh, letters only appear if you have a significant number of apps installed. Well, you also have a search button here. Now, there's one thing to note. The hardware search button always goes to Bing now. It's no longer context sensitive. So you have to have little search buttons for the context sensitive searches. Now here I can do really nice quick searches of my apps. And if, it, if you know, I can also search for marketplace apps right from here. So let's do, there's eBay and I can search marketplace for more. some related eBay apps. Now let's look at settings real quick. A lot of things have changed in the settings, but it looks pretty similar here. Um, go to pocketnow.com for our full preview to see all the details about what has changed in the settings. For now, I'm going to show you a couple of uh, favorites. Here's the battery saver. This is really nice. So when the battery is low, it'll turn on the battery saver mode and it'll shut off things like push email, uh, background apps, all that kind of thing. You'll still be able to do everything manually, but it'll be saving battery in the background. So here's, it also shows you estimated time remaining and how long it's been since the last charge. So that's really nice to have. This is another great feature. Turn on battery saver now until next charge. So say you're out and about and you want to save some battery, because you don't think you'll be able to get back to a charger very, you know, very soon. Turn that on, and when you plug in, it'll go back to a full power mode. So that's really great. You don't have to remember to turn uh, battery saver mode off. Another big thing in the settings, here's background tasks. Now this is going to list all the apps that have uh, background processes. I don't have any because this is a, a preview <laughs> and I don't think any exist. Maybe some in development, but that's where they're going to show and they'll probably have on-off switches so that you can decide which ones can uh, perform tasks in the background. I almost forgot to show you the big uh, task switching feature. So here we go, just hold down the back button here. It zooms out and now you got some thumbnails. And we can really easily choose to switch to a different program right there. Now you see I only have, what, four here? For some reason uh, it doesn't keep track of that many. I think it's because of memory limitations since I've seen it demoed with a lot more 
So it's really going to only show us the most recent ones. But that's pretty nice. Pretty easy to uh, switch programs. Let's try it with a third party app. Now I can't really in, uh, demonstrate instant resume uh, with the task manager here because third party apps need to be updated in order to support it. So if I go here and then I go back to that, it's really got a restart. So there you go. Hopefully we'll see uh, some updated apps for that, but we have some time. So that's our quick look at the start menu, programs list, and settings on Windows Phone Mango. Uh, feel free to go to pocketnow.com and find our full preview with lots of text, more pictures, and more videos. That's it for now.